Zikitele Secondary School is one of three schools in Devon um, that our school Africa attends to. We've been sponsored by the Department of Rural and Development and Land Reform. We integrate MacBooks, iPads, iPod Touches into our schools. We use them in different ways. I mean, we literally started with MacBook integration where we try and get teachers to just teach differently, get kids involved in a different way, have fun in the classroom, and of course, integrate ICT skills, which is incredibly important. But in a school like this, where we have about 10, 15% of the people computer literate, and I'm talking about the teachers, it's really difficult to do that with learners if you don't have the teachers knowing what they're doing. So we start with teachers. We teach them how to use the MacBooks and then we go into the classrooms and we try and have fun. Here at Zikatele Secondary School, before high school came, the educators were not computer literate, but after the high school came to the school, there is a lot of change. The learners, they like it very much. Why? Because they are engaged with the high school then they have that good relationship with Leticia, the coordinator. So we're hoping that the results are going to increase this year because of the high school. We're lucky enough to have the Department of Rural Development and Land Reform put us in schools for three years. To go into any of our schools take time. You get to know the teachers, you build relationships and you have to kind of you know, pass on skills that they very often don't have time to acquire. The more you spend time in, in the school, the more you are trusted, and that just develops into a very good working relationship. You need that for sustainability. You need the people to understand that they've got to take the max and take ownership of the max and, and the equipment, and that they've got to go out there and run their own little project and that you're just here to facilitate it. We start pulling back after a while and make sure that teachers can do this by themselves. We try and show them a different way of learning. It's not talk and talk anymore. It's really something that the kids can grasp and that they want to see. They learn in different ways and we're just adjusting teaching methods to adapt to that. Before there was no high school, uh, this pro program of computers. We didn't have that exposure to technology today and we didn't know a lot of uh, computers, the information that we could get on computers. I have learned to deal with people, like interview people and to get people's talking and the situations which are happening in the communities. I would love to see how these schools become a voice, how they use the kids to get the message out there of what they want, where they want to go in life. I would love to see that things happen because of these MacBooks. I mean, it's, just, it's a tool. It's a wonderful, magnificent tool. But it's trying to find that little, that little thing inside every child that is different and finding a way to get that out in a community. We've just launched our newsletter in Devon. We use all three our schools. The kids write their little stories. We collate it at the library. We use our MacBooks to do that. We use the cameras that they've given us to do it. We have amazing kids. They want to do stuff. They want to get out there. And then this gives them an opportunity. I wish I could tell you all the little stories about the kids that they think that shouldn't be here and should rather just go somewhere else. That find something to give and the interest in either computers or camera work or writing stories because of MacBooks, because of the equipment that we sponsored. And it's because of the Department of Rural Development and Land Reform. It's because they took the initiative, they saw the project, they knew that it would benefit Devon. They, you know, they're really investing in this little community. And yes, as a facilitator, I would love to say thank you, thank you, thank you. And we appreciate it. We appreciate every single little bit of equipment, every single thing that you give us, the VVA. We just, yeah, we want to thank the department because without them, ugh, this wouldn't happen and Devon would still just be Devon.